So uh, I guess to kick us off, what would be interesting and maybe to help, I don't know what the experience of all the people uh, watching here today is, but how can we start off with defining what we mean by filmmaking within XR? Um, I, who, wants to, who wants to dive into how we define that potentially? Mark, go ahead. I think we can pitch that one to you. <laughs> okay. Well, um, personally, uh, you know, I think I think it's using the uh, the, the tools and techniques uh, available to us for extended reality capture uh, and transposing them into some form of storytelling. Um, that that's how I would distill it at its simplest level. Um, but I think uh, you know. It's it's early days yet, and and there have been very very few and precious use cases that represent what's truly possible with this medium. So, kind of just getting started. Yeah, I would agree 100% with that. I think I think we're just getting started because again, a lot of it from a filmmaking perspective is how do you actually produce something? You know, because you can't hide behind the camera so to speak, you know, at least in my case, you know, when you're talking about going to some of these exotic locations and filming in 360 VR, you can't hide behind the camera. So you have to also retrain yourself and you have to retrain your crew and you have to retrain how you tell story because of the fact, yes, you have the immersion, but you also don't have the ability to hide and you can't stage things like you would in traditional 2D linear filmmaking. So I think that whole understanding of how that's going to evolve is also going to have a direct impact on not only, on not only how people go out and shoot stuff, but then how, what people expect to see when that stuff is already shot. Yeah. And it comes with, uh, yeah, it comes with a fair few challenges, I guess, like you say, so out of interest, um, what was it that led you to to choose this medium then for, for your project? And I know, like you said, it's it's a pretty unique project in itself. Why why VR? Well, in my case, it was because I figured, all right, ninety nine percent of the world will never have the opportunity to ever go to Mount Everest Base Camp, let alone climb the mountain in real life. And as great as the the 2D film, we have also 2D production here that's, that just released last week called The Quest of Nepal, and that's a 72 minute documentary about the 52 day expedition and another 11 days that we filmed throughout Kathmandu and the Nepal uh, area with regards to its culture and history and so on. The thing that I realized is that if I can give people the closest possible opportunity of what it's like to climb Mount Everest without being dumb enough to get off the couch and try it yourself, that was my objective. And so we said, okay, why don't we try to film this thing in a first person perspective so you're actually climbing with me, you're actually crossing the ladders with me, you're standing on the summit of Everest with me. And so when you can look around at 360 degrees, there is no way that any 2D linear footage, I don't care who's filmed it, if it's us or Nat Geo or anyone else, will never compare to the immersion and the scale of what it's like to be on Mount Everest. And so I was like, let's let's do this. You know, let's really do this. We're gonna risk our life to do it anyway. Why not try it? 